not asked me if I object to being videoed and you're pointing the camera at me. Yeah, you are being videoed, Peter. So this is for evidence. Would you, would you please turn me off? Unfortunately not, Peter, because when you approach a cameraman who's standing in a public place, you don't have no right to tell the cameraman what to do. So welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to take a look at Hexel here in Narborough in Leicestershire. Hexel is a global leader in manufacturing advanced composite materials for the commercial aerospace space and defence and industrial markets. So one of the materials that they manufacture and sell out of this place is carbon fibre. And we all know that's the most uh, popular lightweight material which is also very very hard and strong strictly no admittance to the inside just there and it talks about please report to warehouse for vehicles it says high visibility jackets must be worn beyond this point but there's nothing about no public access so i'm going to stick my high vis on and i'll have a wander down so there you go, my eye vis is on, and we're gonna see what we can find. Well, it's a massive yard. It looks like that used to be where a building was, but now they're just using it for, for new pallet storage. Got some cable rolling uh, bits over there. But what a massive yard, eh? We've got another warehouse down here called Warehouse 4. And we've got one of these uh, ramps which they use to unload containers. You get the forklift uh, up one side and that uh, clamps onto the container. Hi, mate. No, no, let's have a look round. Private property? All yeah. oh, right, okay. Yeah, that's that, mate. Let's make a video about it, Excel. For who? For me. You are. Member of the public. Okay, so can you hear the public property so can you Yeah, yeah, no problem, mate. It won't be long. It's quite a, uh, quite a big site, isn't it? What used to be on this bit here? Has it always been like that? It's like a waste of space, isn't it? Signage is really good. You ain't got no signs at the front though that says uh, private property, right? Or no unauthorised access that we normally see. Is this all uh, the same company as well, Hexel? Is your main product carbon fibre still? What purpose? Sorry, what, for what purpose do you want I'm making a video, an interesting video about Hexel, what they do. Well, what's your position? Sorry? No comment. No comment. You're not in the court, so I'm not police. I'm here to make a really good video about the company. And are you on behalf of Excel? Has somebody asked you to come in or...? Nope, nobody asked me to come. Okay. Who are you anyway? Say hello. Are you security? <laughs> What's up we are? What's wrong? <laughs> Is he always like that? <laughs> Bit grumpy, isn't he? What, he's always like that, is he? All oh, right. Is he one of the bosses? He's a manager, yeah. Kind of. Kind of a manager of the warehouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're normally like that. These managers. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. He pays the wages, so it's got to be good now. <laughs> oh dear. It's a big company, isn't it? Yeah. Carbon fibre. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very strong, isn't it? Very strong product. Expensive, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very lightweight. It's like you've taken over the whole world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet in an ideal world you buy them as well, trustwood joinery. That'd be nice if you buy them, then you've got the whole area. 
I've sold. Why? Why are you getting? Why are you um, getting smaller? <laughs> Have a good day, mate. So this unit, we now know, is not theirs. They just sold it. What's it like inside, eh? Trustwood Joinery is a separate company to Hexel. So the only people that can trespass you from this area is Trustwood Joinery. We've not spoke to them yet, have we? So it would seem that Hexel boundary starts here, at the gates. So we can stand here where we was before and have a good look around. The strength within. Prime Techs in the latest roof design from BMW. And you've got the clock in, in and out cards there, look. Got some padlocks, some padlocks in there. And just an office. Bid, look, they've removed all the seats and just left one seat out of the four. How ridiculous is that, eh? Hi. Can you help me? Um, not really, no. I'm just having a look around. Just having a look around, yeah. Yeah, just making a video about Hexel. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So for what reasons, could I ask? Uh, you, I can't really reveal too much. I've just been uh, told to come here. Goodbye. I can't tell you too much. I can't tell you. All I can tell you is that um, I'm here to make a video of anything I can find interesting about Hexel. But, so uh, have your name then, please? Why? Why do you want that? What's your name? My name's Peter. Peter, are you the director? No, no. What position are you? I'm the EHS manager. Oh, is that health and safety? Right, okay. Yeah, unfortunately, Peter, um, because of the nature of the work I do, I stay anonymous. I stay, it's private information, my name. And this being private. What's so private about this? Company, it's a private company. Yeah, am, am I on a public no, footpath? No, yes, you are on a yeah. public footpath. So everything, everything, what I can see is public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm, I've, I've come I've, today. Although you've not asked me if I object to being videoed and you've pointed the camera. Yourself. Yeah, you are being videoed, Peter. So this is for evidence. Would you, would you please take me off? Unfortunately not, Peter, because when you approach a cameraman who's standing in a public place, you don't have no right to tell the cameraman what to do. Is that correct? Oh, no, I to do it. You actually told me to move the camera away from yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, 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 on it. Did your colleague tell you I was filming? They said there was somebody around here, yeah. Filming? Yeah. I don't think you used the word film, no, no. Recording? Taking photos? No, I don't think so. No, okay, no. okay. So yeah, I'm here for the sole purpose of making a video. Obviously, if you don't wish to be on the video, just, just return back to yeah, work, well, mate. I'll, I'll, I'll go to the side, but you keep following me with that. It, what, whatever you do, it's so like if you misbehave or you, you say the wrong thing and I get offended, this is my evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to protect myself. So the camera will remain on. You can create your own privacy, just like this. When you're in a public place and you don't want to be on camera, you just do this and then nobody can see you. You get me? And then that's creating privacy in a public place. Yeah, that's what you should do. But it's all a learning experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I don't give my name out because of the nature of the work I do. All right. You're welcome, no problem. Thank you, yeah. I've put my high-vis on because I noticed um, you had a sign that says, yeah. So I thought I'd be respectful of your policy and just put my high-vis on for you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's super. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Peter. No worries, mate. The, the end unit has now been sold, hasn't it? Sorry? The end unit has been sold, hasn't it? Yeah. 
All right, no problem. Is wondering what the hell is going on. So yeah, he'll be wondering now how I knew about this end unit being sold. So that will um, that will be making him think about how I know. So these warehouse and production units, uh, they sound very quiet. Not really much activity going on at all around this area, but they have got a lovely spot. It's like a cul-de-sac, end cul-de-sac, and every single unit would have been owned by the same company. Obviously, the guy has told us that the end one has recently been sold. And then you've got Trustwood Joinery at the top there. But what a lovely setting for a business that just want to keep themselves to themselves. This is where it's located on Cutters Close Industrial Estate. Hexel, Trustwood, and Hemingway. And they have another sign over here saying reception is to the left please drive five miles an hour all deliveries basically turn round go to the roundabout and come in the entrance that we started at and they hardly have any accidents look 876 days but do you reckon that if we came tomorrow that would say 877 i always wonder how accurate these signs are so there is an area behind this uh, production eight where I can see a forklift moving around. So I am interested to see what's behind there. So I'm gonna get the drone up. Now you'll notice by the trees, it is quite windy. It's Monday, the 21st of February. Um, Storm Eunice is just passing. So the winds are still quite uh, strong. So this will be interesting to see how the drone performs as well. So let's get the drone out, who has now been called David. <laughs> let's get David out.
So that was quite interesting. As we first took off, we took it quite high. We took it to about 60 meters and the wind just absolutely took it. So we had to lower the height quite a lot just to get back control. So on this one, we've not seen uh, around the area much, but we have saw the backyard. We saw a bit of the rubbish there, not really much to see, but at least we had a little fly around, a little nosy, and now it's time to land the drone. But you can see like, with, even with the winds, you can see the trees at the back there blowing still. The drone is struggling at this height, but it locks onto the GPS coordinates. It sort of corrects itself as much as it can. So that makes it really, really easy to fly. So if you are thinking about getting one of these, the link's in the description. Just go for it. It's absolutely brilliant piece of kit. And this is how it lands. And that's the controller and your phone just slips into the top there with the cable in the side and we'll stop the recording just like that and that's it so that's about it from hexel they thank us for visiting look so who would have thought eh that xl the leading manufacturer of carbon fiber with more than 50 years experience would be located in a little cul-de-sac like this with all these little buildings all joined up right next to a load of houses, look, in a small village of Narbra in Leicestershire. Massive, massive company with, with 4,800 employees, 23 plants, and in 2021, a 1.325 billion turnover. But you don't see many flash cars to reflect uh, major, major money, do you? you just got Volkswagen, Honda, Renault, Ford. So they are quite modest, or maybe this is one of the, uh, the lower paid sites where no big, big bosses are based. But anyway, we had a good look round. We couldn't really see much interesting, but we had a little chat with a couple of people but they weren't too bad. So that's it from Hexel. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.